It's Thursday, March 28th here in Seoul. I'm Oh Jin Ju and you're watching Korea Now. We begin with the latest on the Madrid Embassy break-in. A mysterious anti-North Korea group has claimed responsibility for a raid last month on the North Korean Embassy in Spain. It was on February 22nd when a group of 10 intruders broke into the North Korean embassy in Madrid, allegedly tying embassy staff up, searching the compound, and running away with computers and documents about five hours later. Since then, a Spanish judge has issued international arrest warrants for two members of the group, Free Chosun, an organization that declares itself as a provisional North Korean government in exile, aiming to topple the ruling Kim family dynasty. Previously known as Cholima Civil Defense, the group has widely been reported to be providing protection for Kim An Sol, the son of Kim Jong Nam, the assassinated half brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. The group said in a statement on its website Tuesday that the break in was not an attack and they were invited into the embassy, and contrary to reports, no one was gagged or beaten. While Spanish authorities claim that the group got in touch with the FBI to share some information, the FBI declined to comment on the case. Cho Yang-ho, the CEO of Korean Air, South Korea's biggest carrier, has been removed from the company's board following a series of scandals involving him and his family. His 27-year tenure has come to an end, and he becomes the first conglomerate chief in the country to be ousted by shareholders. 64% of shareholders voted for Cho's reappointment, but it fell short of the two-thirds support required to keep him on the board. The National Pension Service, the second biggest shareholder of the airline, played a key role on Tuesday by standing against Cho's re-election. The NPS cited Cho's track record of, quote, hurting the corporate value and rights of shareholders as the reason for its decision. Despite his board membership having been terminated, Cho still retains his titles of chairman and CEO of Korean Air. K-pop boy band Pentagon on Wednesday released a new EP, Genius, and the first Korean language album the band has dropped since the departure of member E Don late last year. The six-track record, the eighth EP by Pentagon, is followed by Shala La, whose Korean title Shintoburi is an abbreviation, meaning exciting Saturday, this fire-hot night. The team's leader, P, said in a press showcase that he hopes their lead song will shatter the tension and stress of everyday life from work or in school. And those were the top headlines for today. You can always check the full-length articles on our official website. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for your daily news feed.